SpaceX has recently shattered its own limits, setting a record with more than 61 launches achieved in 2022. This demonstrates how formidable the company's rocket launch capability is right now. However, this is not the limit for SpaceX. They even have more ambitious plans to launch 12 rockets per month, potentially totaling nearly 150 launches a year. This means we could witness a Falcon 9 launch approximately every two days. This is totally shocking to industry insiders. Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. In astounding displays of rocketry prowess, SpaceX has been surging ahead with its ambitious launch schedule this year. The aerospace juggernaut is currently on track to complete 100 missions as per its 2023 launch manifest. Not only that, SpaceX founder Elon Musk recently shared an even more audacious goal. The company aims to conduct a remarkable 10 flights a month by the end of the year, with plans to double that rate to 12 each month the following year. It's an impressive ambition and could easily develop into 150 to 150 flights next year, possibly even 100 this year. This announcement comes right after SpaceX's recent significant milestone, where they reached 61 rocket launches before the end of 2023. In 2021, SpaceX completed 31 Falcon 9 launches. 2022, their 61 Falcon rocket launches nearly doubled the previous year's peak. At that time, there were concerns about the ability to double the annual launch count, and achieving 100 launches, implying a 64% growth rate, did seem quite challenging. However, this barrier was shattered by SpaceX's underlying strength as they reached their record-breaking number last year. Great work by the SpaceX team successfully launching 61 Falcon rocket missions this year, said Elon as he celebrated the victory. And even more remarkably, SpaceX surpassed this number as just two days after Falcon 9 continued to launch, bringing the total to 62 launches, setting a new milestone for this year. Elon also shared that SpaceX delivered approximately 80% of all Earth's payload mass to orbit in 2023, China near 10%, and the rest of the world the other 10%. This is indeed a remarkable achievement for SpaceX, and it's impossible to deny the significant contribution of the Falcon 9, SpaceX's iconic rocket known for its reusable first stage, capable of landing after launching payloads into orbit. The ability to recover and reuse SpaceX's orbital rockets has become an exclusive advantage for the Falcon 9. This has also significantly accelerated Falcon 9's launch rate since the beginning of the year, placing SpaceX ahead of all major competitors. The company's been launching orbital rockets at an astonishing average rate of one rocket every four and a half days. Putting this in perspective against other major competitors like China, SpaceX has nearly outpaced China in the rocket launch race in 2023. For second quarter, SpaceX did 22 launches while CASC managed only six. SpaceX also placed 648 satellites into orbit in stark contract to CAC's 49 satellites. Another category where SpaceX consistently leads is payload mass to orbit. According to Bryce Tech data, SpaceX has topped the world in this category for seven straight quarters, often with a significant margin. This year, SpaceX extends its lead even further, sending about 10 times more mass into space than its closest competitor, CASC, in the first two quarters of this year. While SpaceX sent approximately 214,000 kilograms of spacecraft up mass during that period, China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation launched just 23,000 kilograms. Russian space agency Roscosmos, according to an infographic shared by the user, only launched about 8,100 kilograms. As SpaceX continues to accelerate its rocket launches, it solidifies its position as the industry leader, breaking new records and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. SpaceX won't disappoint us. Musk has made a firm statement about the company's goal. Based on the Falcon launch plan for next year, SpaceX will deliver around 90% of all Earth payload to orbit. With this promise, there will be many more Falcon flights ahead. How many milestones do you think they can do in 2023? The sky is no longer the limit. As the space industry continues to rapidly expand, it's attracting new players to join the race alongside SpaceX. This development has the potential to disrupt SpaceX's position of leadership in the sector, or at the very least, create competition for a slice of the space exploration pie. The first thing that can be mentioned is Rocket Lab. The U.S.-based firm founded in 2006 by CEO Peter Beck is emerging as the most serious rival to Elon Musk's SpaceX. In August, Eric Rasmussen of analyst firm Stifle described the company as one of the highest quality space companies to enter the market. Known for its electron light lift vehicle, which now routinely dispatches small satellites to low Earth orbit, 
Rocket Lab is working to reuse the rocket's boosters, doing so for the first time August 23rd. The company is also breaking new ground with its in-house 3D printing technology and dual-launch site operations with facilities in New Zealand and the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport in Wallops Island, Virginia. The current focal point of Rocket Lab's advancement is the development of the Neutron rocket, a medium-lift launch vehicle with a 13-metric-ton payload capacity to low-Earth orbit that's poised to compete with SpaceX's Falcon 9. Built by Beck as a purpose-built mega-constellation building machine, Neutron's anticipated launch in 2024 would directly challenge SpaceX's industry dominance. Rocket Lab's plan is to charge $50 million a launch, a competitive pricing strategy considering SpaceX's $67 million tag for Falcon 9. The ambitious plan includes a project reflight capability of the Neutron booster between 10 and 20 times. The company offers, or at least hopes to offer, other space-related services, including spacecraft design, manufacturing, components, on-orbit management solutions, and satellite constellation management services. The publicly traded Rocket Lab is currently valued at around $1.8 billion. Accompanying this, we can't overlook Relativity Space, a pioneering company in 3D printing technology founded in 2015. The company's tagline makes its ambitions clear, as the private firm is on a mission to become the next great commercial launch company. Core to its mission is the company's focus on proprietary cutting-edge 3D printing technologies. Its first foray into this pioneering technique was the Terran 1 rocket, a 110-foot-tall vehicle built primarily of 3D printed parts, 85% to be exact, and fueled by a liquid methane oxygen propellant known as Methalox. The Terran 1 made its debut on the Good Luck Have Fun mission launched in March of 2023, and though it failed to reach orbit during its inaugural launch, it survived the Max-Q phase, when a rocket undergoes maximal aerodynamic stress, a promising outcome that points to the viability of 3D printed rockets. Having successfully demonstrated the potential of 3D printing, Relativity Space retired Terran 1 and is now setting its sights on the development of Terran R. The Terran R, unlike its light lift predecessor, is designed to be a medium to heavy lift orbital launch vehicle capable of carrying 33.5 metric tons to low Earth orbit. The rocket's first stage will be equipped with 13 3D printed Aeon engines, with a single methane fueled engine powering its second stage. In a bid to maximize efficiency, the first stage will be designed for reusability using printed aluminum to facilitate up to 20 reflights. Much like SpaceX's Falcon 9, the plan is to land the rockets on drone ships stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. Relativity Space is set to start launching Tehran R in 2026 from Space Launch Complex 16, its launch site at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Once operational, Tehran R will begin servicing the company's customer backlog of $1.65 billion in launch service agreements. It remains to be seen whether this factor can effectively compete with SpaceX's current dominance, but it's clear that the space launch landscape is set for increasingly fierce competition. That said, the race for space is not a solitary sprint, but a marathon, one that requires as much technical innovation as it does patience. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section down below because your feedback is very important to us and ultimately helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.